Um, <laughs> yeah, lots can I bring up the the skybox thing? That's what I was gonna say. I think you should talk about the skybox think, and everything you know, that went down there. Yeah, we can. We didn't do anything wrong. No, no, no. no, no that's what I'm saying. I want something good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to. I wanted to give a shout out to Scotia Bank Center. Was my point because, yeah, we started the the word about that on our social media about the box and we weren't trying to be vicious about it it was just very something that was very funny to us you know it was an observation exactly and, no, like... and that's fine but look what happened belly and it was the public and you got to once again reach out to the fans for this because everyone gave an input and everyone gave us a reason potentially why this was the case yeah now look they're yeah. giving the skybox to local girls associations, to local hockey associations, and you know quick, what? Wait, tell them what happened though, because there's people probably listening who don't fully know, yeah, who yeah. don't follow. You, you go, yeah, you, you go. Just tell so it, so Belly and I are sitting at a game, and it was the first game we noticed that no one was in the skybox, and you don't really think much of it. I think I actually tweeted about it first. I just said, "Hey, if you guys aren't going to use the skybox, we will," you know, just as kind of a joke. And then the next game kind of rolls around, and there's no one there. So. You just took a Belly took a video of it and said, "Fun fact: the Skybox, the Scotia Bank box in the Scotia Bank Arena in the Scotia Bank Arena during the World Juniors has been empty the whole tournament with what, one of these emotions." Yeah, like what's what's with that? So then you know, of course, people start to retweet and comment, and people are saying, you know, well they dropped their sponsorship or they are against this and that or blah blah blah, and then other people are commenting, going, "Well, why don't they do this and why don't they just like raffle it off or give it to people in need?" And 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 honestly, at the time, I never really considered that. I was just thinking this is a, a funny thing that we're noticing and it really blew up because I, I was even saying to a couple of the boys like normally those our tweets get you know 30 to 50 favorites range and this one was just like ping oh. ping 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 and that wasn't our object was I wasn't trying to get people in the seats at the moment it was just like an observation like you said and then all of a sudden this is blowing up and it's got like 165,000 views and it's got 400 some odd um, favorites and yeah. you don't get a whole lot of re replies on Twitter and this had like you know like you can scroll for three minutes on people's replies and it just all of a sudden blew up and then now you get word of people are tagging us thanks high button for g getting us these seats or whatever and it feels really good to be able to give something without really doing anything and a lot of the times when you're a new company you do a lot of things to benefit yourself and that's just the nature of the beast but to be able to just like broadcast something and have enough following and enough people in our corner to kind of make that happen. Awesome. I think it was, it's, I've been like, I get kind of chills thinking about it right now. And it's, it's a really cool thing for us and it's a good look, but shout out to them for making it happen because, yeah. you know, they could have just sat there and maybe they didn't see it. Maybe that was their plan all along, but nonetheless it's happened. And it feels really good to be able to provide that for people. Cause a lot of people reached out to us being like, Oh, this was all you guys. And it was some of us. Logan Delaney retweeted it too. And kind of got yes. some things, some, some action going too with it. I'd love but to take all just, the credit, but yeah, just everyone just kind of kept going with it. It mm -hmm. was unbelievable. And that's the thing. We didn't even have a, a, a positive or a negative thought on it. It just was what it was. That's the point of high button sports. It's just an observational company. Like whether we, we don't have a, a bad bone in our body, we don't. So we got a good go. We got good bones, but it just there's, yeah. there's, there's no hate. Like it's just it is what it is. We're not we, trying we, to we attack comment. people. We're not trying to attack anyone. It's just is we're we're very observational. It is what it is. We'll roll with that. Super cool though. Yeah, really cool. Like just imagine being a kid and then your dad knocks on your bedroom door. Hey, guess what? We're going to the Scotia Bank box tonight. Let's go. Yeah, Thank for you, the high button game. sports. Let's go. And then they get to go. Unbelievable. It is, man. It really is. It's it's, awesome. it, it's, a, it's one of our feel good stories from this so far. So. Yeah. I've been super proud of it. I've been telling everybody I don't even care just because, like, you want to see those good things happen. And it just goes to show what kind of community can really be like around here when push comes to shove, mm -hmm. right? Because you have all the negative stuff all the time. It's pretty much all you hear, but it's nice to have a nice feel-good story and everyone kind of come together on a common thing and yeah. make something happen. It's high button as a team.